Hey, it's Andrew with Angelo's Edge. Um, I got me a new knife. It was on sale. It's, uh, I think, regularly $23. And it was like, I don't know. It, it ended up after like a 30%, it ended up being, uh, I, I'd say $16 or $17. It's a Perwin, another Perwin knife I got. But it wasn't really sharp. So I'm breaking out the Lansky system out again and I'm going to sharpen this up it it was probably it wasn't hair shaving sharp it was it was my standards pretty dull but it was $16 it has d2 still and I, I have I have two sharpening systems but this is my Lansky system I got with the old-fashioned I got I got me some diamond blades or diamond thing I'm, I'm got the rough uh, course extra course I'm just tearing it down. It shows us about a 30 degree angle, but that's how I, I'm sharpening right here at the edge of the, where the blade. So that's, I don't know exactly what the uh, angle was, but it's, it's hitting 30 degree angle, but that's just be, I might be further out from the, not as far down on the blade. So, but I, I usually try to match uh, where I don't want to take as much metal. I try to match the uh, the angle the factory had. And one thing that I noticed good about this knife, even though it wasn't the great sharpest, both sides were, were actually the same angle. They were both actually at, uh, well, i given probably 30 degrees, which I don't know if it's really 30 degrees. probably more like 25. But anyways, that's what my Lansky shows it was. And so I have a work sharp system, but I can't use that right now. The clamp actually is stripped out. So I'm going to try to see if uh, work sharp or, It's supposed to have a three year warranty on the, uh, the clamp. We're supposed to have a three year warranty on everything on the work sharp. But what happens is the, the clamp uh, might show you later on the video is stripped out. So it won't clamp up on the knife, uh, but I'm going to continue our, on sharpening. I'm going to stop here and, come back a little bit later all right bye all right so i'm back in a little bit here again um so uh, i want to show you real quick uh this clamp i was talking about this is for the work sharp system let me get this stuff out of here um this is actually what this this uh clamp that tightens up on your blade actually kind of it's just plastic and what happened was it it actually you go to tighten this up on the blade and usually put your blade but you'd be in here where that rod is and you tighten it up so i did use this a lot uh i probably sharpen i'm saying at least 20 to 30 knives with this so unfortunately whoever designed this they made this spinning nut it's just threaded plastic and after some use this strips out and you won't be able to tighten up your blade which makes the whole work sharp system it's a great system it just makes it somewhat useless because you can't connect it to the rest of the system i'm sure if you anybody knows what the work sharp system it has this holder and you could adjust the actual uh the height of the angle you can almost customize where the angle to, to match the uh to match it from the factory and I was I really love this thing, but it it just it it's failed. So so I'm gonna try to get a hold of Work Sharp and see if they'll send me a. These are twenty five dollars, but they say they have a, a a warranty on this three years, and I bought it about a year ago. So I'm hoping that they actually will honor the warranty and send me an, another one. If not, then I'll just probably have to order my own for $25 and continue on. But I went back to the tried and true Lansky system. And the only thing I have trouble with the Lansky system, the stones end up wearing down. Well, see, I, I have, uh, I end up having to buy, which ironically, there's a flaw in the Lansky system too. It is, if you even look on this one, see, there's a crack starting to, form right there you can see it and eventually the more you tighten up on it they crack and then you won't be able to use the stone so that's what happened with my medium stone i had regular stones 
like this. These are regular stones. Uh, and this is the, the, the fine. So, but my medium 280 stone cracked and I couldn't tighten it up. So instead of buying another 280 stone, I actually went and invested a little bit more and bought a medium diamond stone, which is diamond. It's a lot tighter or tougher, so it won't wear away. It won't, you get a bow if you use it enough. So I actually purchased this one uh, extra coarse right here because uh, it takes a lot of metal away fast. So it's cool when you reprofile on the blade. So what I'm gonna do next, I'll, after I'm about done with this one right here, I'm gonna be switching back to, switching to this medium and work my way all the way down to the, the fine. Let's see, let me slide this stuff out. No, I don't have my boom today. So I'll do the fine, then the, up the porcelain stone, and then to a sapphire stone. And probably, I'm, I'll show you right at the end of the video, by the time I'm done sharpening this knife right here, this will have, a, a, should have a mirror finish. And I will show you that when I'm done. And I'll show you the, the box this Perwin came in. It's a decent knife, you know. It was only 16 bucks, so I'll show you some more of that too. All right. Okay, uh, I finished sharpening this knife. Uh, the Perwin got it down to a mirror edge mirror edge so uh i can go a little bit more into the perwin knife this is the third one i bought this is the let's see, i'll show you the barcode perwin d2 pocket knife green um so i ended up getting it for it, it right now it's on amazon for 23.99 uh so but when i bought it i, I think last week they had a 30 percent off coupon or something to that extent so if you multiply 30 percent by 29 or 23 dollars it ended up being uh 16.96 so i paid 16 17 dollars roughly for this knife so i don't know if i'd spend 23 dollars on it but i i think it's worth the uh 17 if you want to get in nickels and dimes because i did have to resharpen it and i got it sharp because it wasn't the greatest sharpness, but but uh, I think you can do a little better for twenty twenty four dollars. But it's it's a larger knife. Let's see. Let me get to my let's try here. I'm I don't have my boom, so so it's it's about three and a half inches long. You can see my my finger and the blade. So it's one, two, three. It's about three and a half. I I, I don't know. It's it's not too bad. It has G ten handles. Um. Deep carry pocket clip, uh, green G10 D. Ooh, watch it, that's sharp. I'm trying, I should have my boom, but I'm not taking the time to set it all up. Um, has purlin on both sides, and it appears I didn't try it. Looks like it appears you could switch the uh, pocket clip around the left side, but but it's a liner lock, so I don't know if that would really help. Got the liner lock, has bearings. So, I mean, it has bearings and everything, so uh, it's a kind of a, I don't know if you call it drop point harpoon, because it has this little, sw like, swoop, so you can put your, put your thumb on it like that. So, yeah, so... So I don't I I don't know I don't know if it's a coating on that blade or just black paint. So um, they have the stand off. I'm gonna flip it close real quick. Uh, don't quite drop shut, but I never even mess with the pivot. But it might be able to mess with the pivot. It has kind of fancy uh, uh, standoffs. They're just not plain. They have like a like a mill type look to them. Deep carry pocket clip, D2, thumb stud, and flipper, which I, I think I gives you like multiple ways to flip it open. There's flipper, thumb stud, and oh, I think I can do it without when I'm not holding the phone up. Uh, but anyways, that's the knife, and it also comes with uh, a nice box. So it came in this, and then it came with uh, the Perwin, like a microfiber cloth. So they give you a little extra, better than some things in Kershaw. So, I mean, 
It, like I said, I paid sixteen dollars. But I want to get back to these. Uh, the uh, see what I did. I started all the way up at. Uh, uh, I'll do a little tutor on the Lansky system. I started a diamond extra course. Takes the meat meat of the like uh, gets you in medium diamond, six hundred fine thousand ultra fine stone and a sapphire stone and leather stropping. So I've had to replace two of these. Like these these two are diamond now. They were originally regular stones. And I was going to show you why. What happens after you sharpen a while? This is a this is was my original extra coarse stone seventy, but when you take it, it takes a beating on these things. So you can see that. So the you can see the curve. It's probably should have black on black. Let's see. Let me put this over here. So you can see how much I wore on that one. So you can see how concaved it is so it tore it up pretty good so that's one of the problems with the regular stones and then uh, uh like i said sometimes these crack they start cracking right there i think one of the yellow we'll see which one i can see mm, like this sapphire stone is starting to crack so i thought i don't really see that that's one of the flaws of uh these and it might have been partially my fault because when I originally started getting them, I'd take my pliers and kind of tighten them up. I might have been tightening them too much. So lately, all I've been doing is th uh, thumb or hand tightening. So, And I thought about it. I might put a little super glue down there, but I'm just more careful when I tighten them up. So so I so I went, I started going to the, uh, the uh, what house should I say, it? The, the diamonds. I'm... You could buy the Lansky system with all diamond stones to start, but it's a little more expensive. And I wore through quite a bit of these stones. But the Lansky system works well. It's just basically you got four angles you got to try to uh, uh, fit your knife edge in. So, like the work sharp, you can adjust the screw up and down you, so you could find the Zach angle. But. That's beside the point. But anyways, so like I said, this is kind of a per win slash work sharp slash uh, Lansky sharpening system talk. So, and, but I was not impressed with the edge sharpness, but I, I'm very, I really am not always impressed with eight. Uh, the blades because i got used to sharpen my own knives so but i believe the normal person getting a knife from this company it was sharp enough i think for most people would cut cardboard cut paper do whatever you want to do it wasn't shave sharp like now this one's a shaving sharp uh so it's all what you want uh, i think it was a good deal for the 30 percent off uh and that was during it was the day of prime day but i didn't find it actually on prime day it was actually i scrolled through and i was looking down i always look at the amazon lately has been putting there's like little coupons underneath the real price so you kind of they'll say 30 percent off or extra two dollars off so you just got to kind of look and what i found was this was like i said it was 23.99 plus 30 percent off and that took it down to 17 dollars. so 17 dollars to me, that's a pretty good deal for a G10 bearing knife that basically flips open real nice. And I think if I adjust the pivot, I could make it drop shut. So, anyway, I don't think there was... Let me see if it popped back open. I'm pretty sure it's a really thin knife, and there's no blade play. So, look how thin it is. It's kind of got a very high grind. So, all right. Well, that's the Perwin... Uh, what is that box? It, it's the, I think it's the only the D2 green knife here's the barcode again if you guys want to look and see how about being upside down let's spin it around so i'd wait my personal thought i would wait until it's 30 percent off again and buy it for 17 dollars. but if you want to buy it no one's going to stop you all right thanks for listening to angelo's edge uh angelo on angelo's edge see it bye